Get into it, y'all. P- uh, the PlayStation technical preview. Developer, whatever. Hi, I'm Mark Cern. <laughs> I'm excited to be here to talk about the newest addition to our console lineup. Say what? PlayStation 5 Pro. Say what? It advances gaming technology. No. But first, I want to take just a minute to look at what we put in the original PlayStation 5. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Exceptional gaming experience. Mark, don't do me like this, Mark. Don't do me like this, Mark. When a PS5 pro? debuted in 2020, it brought a lot to the table. Oh my Big god. Two CPU cores formed the brains of PlayStation 5. And in yep, high speed it did. complex gameplay. With character counts reaching into the hundreds. Oh man. What is this game? Frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. Nah, I can go faster than my PC now, nah, but no, no offense. Powerful RDNA That's nice CPU, though. That's nice. From intricate details. To the graphics on that worlds with fast panoramas to explore. so ray tracing allows for dramatic visual improvements including reflections off of water or glass oh and the realism okay. that comes from real-time global illumination a custom yeah. ssd can load data at breathtaking speed resulting in ultra fast transitions yeah the man world. look at that and data streaming rates so high that traversal speeds are Damn, Spidey man. unlimited. You okay? I'm working on it. Tempest 3D Audio Tech brings an unparalleled sense of immersion to the sound of the games. Yeah, it's uh, so Demon Souls you do there. Not even need to see the enemies Returnal. to know exactly where they are. Say word, I gotta pre-order this, yo. Finally, the DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through your hands what your character is experiencing inside of the game. Yo. It's wonderful to see such variety and richness of game Damn, experiences. Mark. Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. Yeah. The oh, dreams pow. of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with. Okay. Graphics modes. It can be a difficult choice. Performance for fidelity? Say word. Fidelity modes emphasize the visuals, typically through higher resolution rendering. These okay. modes might also have enhanced detail or use more ray tracing. Yeah. But the games only run at 30 frames per second. The visuals can be choppier and the controls less responsive. Performance modes emphasize frame rate and interactivity, typically choosing to run 60 frames per second. Normally is what I pick. Tell me y'all up in that Mainly though. by reducing the graphical detail until those frame rates can be achieved. Tell me y'all up in that, man. Mode, players are choosing performance about three quarters of the time. Yep, Removing you know it. That decision, or at least narrowing that divide, is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. We want to give players the graphics. Can't believe the this, man. To, at the high frame rates the players typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in three ways. Here's oh my what God. we call the big three. Larger GPU. First, we made the GPU much larger and increased the speed of the memory it uses. Okay. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. Not bad. Second, we made major upgrades to the ray tracing, taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. Oh, wow. Or PSSR for short. PSSR analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can add an extraordinary amount of detail, which boosts the effective resolution of the game. They go to AI thing. Game creators are adding PS5 Pro support to new and existing titles. That's and nice, with the big though. Three involved, the results can be pretty amazing. With graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but it doubled the frame rate. That Here's should be for everything, Us though. Two running on PS5 Pro. It has huge amounts of detail and targets a Damn, it looked good on the regular, though. Second. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5. Oh yeah, do. At 30 frames per second, and is therefore much choppier. This goal of delivering almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rates has been achieved wow. for a broad set of titles. I can't believe we're here now. Just four years after the PlayStation, though. And Ratchet and Clank rift apart, 
we can see that PS5 Pro is close to doubling the power of PlayStation 5. Oh, they slowed it down. That's some good editing right there, boy. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 I know what that Pro is. versus performance mode on PS5. Say both word. of which target 60 frames per second. Mm -hmm. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 oh, yeah. Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. Yes, it is. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is no oh, yeah. higher resolution throughout the yes, scene, it is. including the trees and procedural cars. Yeah, so overall, it is. some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics. I'm just hoping that's all the games, not just ones they picking. This is the no, that's the thing I'm worried about. Value. As you've been seeing, machine learning via the PSSR library is being used quite broadly to add pixel detail and boost frame rate. But there are as many approaches as there are game engines. The increase in raw GPU power is being especially effective okay. for Horizon. Better graphics. West. Say word. From the detail boost, that it do look good. That game look good anyway, though. Improvements to lighting and visual effects. As well as to the hair and the skin in cinematics. Oh yeah. Open up, guys. Jar of orders. Good enough for me. One thing I do love about PlayStation, they story is like. Is broad usage as well. Oh my God, Particularly story, when story. The games are focused mm. on higher frame rates. The faster hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference. Say word, man. Allowing Gran Turismo to add ray traced reflections between the cars in gameplay. Oh man, that's beautiful. This game always had looked good. Targeted though. 60 frames per second. Got a Corvette. Boost in ray tracing is Classic also cause. Big wins for Hogwarts Legacy. Allowing not only for better reflections and a greater variety of reflective surfaces, but also for further realism in the casting of shadows. I hope you've enjoyed this run through of the technology behind PlayStation 5 Pro. I have. Put, this is definitely powerful console we've ever built, man. and a worthy addition to the PS5 family. Man, let me go ahead and pre-order that. Up by giving you a quick look at a number of games running on the new console. Yeah, show me. Show me. I had to mute it, y'all, because uh, <laughs> damn music. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's beautiful though. It's beautiful. It looks good. Look at that. Demon Souls. Ratchet and Clank. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh no, I know that's a Sekiro? GT7? Oh wow, Spider-Man. Hogwarts. They prepping for that GTA 6 now. Yo, what is that? Oh my God. Oh, November 7th. 700. Yo, I got to pre order that shit. I already know. I already know out the gate, y'all. I already know. Let me just stop it there. So, y'all, so, y'all, so, y'all, um, just a quick discussion about it. Um, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a whole lot, y'all. I'm liking it a whole lot. It's going to be $700 when it comes out November the 7th. So I'm going to definitely pre-order that bad boy because I know people going to want it. I'm going to try to pre-order it about three or four times. So I'm about to go talk to some people, see if I can get my hands on some money to, to um, pre-order this a couple of times. Because the last time when the PS5 first came out, I didn't pre-order it and I paid for it dearly in 2020. When I couldn't get my hands on one, so this one I'm definitely gonna pre-order. I know people are gonna want them. I know people are gonna wanna wanna uh, wanna get them. 
I'm gonna pre. I'm not gonna go crazy like the rest of them. No, I'll probably pre-order about five of them. I'm gonna get one for myself, and then like another four. Um, but yeah, man, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a whole lot. Comes out November seventh. Six hundred ninety nine dollar price tag. Make sure y'all pre order that bad boy wherever the pre orders are available. You heard? Good on Mark Cerny. Shout out to PlayStation. Shout out to Mark Cerny for um letting us know about this stuff, man. Oh shit! Is Federation approved? Till next time, y'all. Peace. <laughs>